Thanksgiving just two days away, but the celebration will come a day early for those needing a little help this year. Aaron Brackett is live now with the details. Aaron. Jennifer, I'm at the Gospel Rescue Mission Men's Shelter, where tomorrow this entire street behind me is going to be closed off, and close to 3,000 people will receive a meal completely free of charge. Today, though, preparations went into high gear. Preparation for one of the city's largest Thanksgiving meals started this morning as several trucks arrived with dozens of donated rolls, hundreds of cans of veggies, and of course, turkey, and lots of it, 153 birds in all. While it takes almost 400 volunteers to pull off tomorrow's banquet, today's preparation wasn't a small endeavor. No, because these don't work, so. Kitchen manager Kelly Edwards says people really step up during the holiday season. Do you see that you have a lot more volunteers near the holidays as opposed to other times of the year? Absolutely, absolutely. People's, people's hearts always want to be helpful at this time of year because they're thankful in their lives, so they want to come out and give to others. <laughs> Thankfulness is what drives volunteer Donna Watkins, who also stays at the Rescue Mission's Women's Shelter. What in your life uh, kind of made you say that I want to help? What brought you here? Um, what brought me here? Um, um, I came from um, being many years of addiction and, uh, and uh, many different kinds of addictions and I ended up coming to Gospel Rescue Mission and I've been there going on six months and uh, I love it. I couldn't find a better way to give back during the holidays, giving back to others. While hundreds of cans are being opened by hand outside, inside turkeys are being painstakingly deboned one at a time. But volunteers I spoke to said the dirty work is the most rewarding. How does it make you feel to help out, you know, behind the scenes? You're not out in front of everybody right now. How does that make you feel? It's good not doing it to be in front of everybody. We're doing it to help God and get the word out. So still, it's worthwhile, actually. It's a blessing, actually. Now, while the Gospel Rescue Mission has enough food for the Thanksgiving banquet, other organizations such as the Salvation Army and the Community Food Bank still need more donations. Live on the south side, Aaron Brackett, KIGA 9 on your side. All right, Aaron, next question. Where can people drop off those donations? Yeah, excellent question. Actually, there's an emergency turkey drive for the Salvation Army. They still need 500 turkeys, and that's happening tonight until 7. So you still have about a couple hours, and that's at uh, El Charo on 311 North Court. If you bring a turkey, El Charo will give you some free appetizers. And if you don't make that or if you can't make that, we have more sites listed on our website, kega9.com. Anyway is a good way to help. Aaron, thanks so much. Thanksgiving came.